Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Aero Boy Siam Thai Boxing, please welcome to the ring, James Collins! If James and Collins thinks that, I'm not going to disagree. the red corner, representing Compound Martial Arts, please welcome to the ring, Robert Three two-minute rounds, we're underway. And Barrow wasted no time in trying to close the distance. Trying to work off the jab. Oh, That's clashes a, nice right a lovely hand. straight. A nice right hand, but Collins just walks through it, coming forward, needs to be careful. He's leaving that chin up when he leans back ever so slightly. He does seem to keep the chin high, does. James Collins, just as he's coming in, so Barrett will try to find a, a right hand to counter on that chin, but... I really like the job work of Barrett here. He's using that to set up a multitude of strikes. Lands a big right hand there, just off a kick of Collins. Collins has been a bit wild oh, and reckless. another big straight from Barrett. Collins lands a right of his own there, but it's almost a reckless attack. He's really leaving himself susceptible to big counters. And the style that Collins is fighting in as well it would be exhausting, Phil. He's it's high frequency strikes, isn't it? And he's getting countered. Each time when he's thrown a big shot, he's getting hit with a right hand. So that's going to really drain the energy bar as well. Beautiful straight again from Bart. Well, and Barrett again! Is, Bart is leaning the cleaner shots because he's taking the shorter direct route straight down the pipe. And it's more so Collins is winging his shot, so he's always going to be picked off. With the straighter, sharper shot. Better fundamentals at the moment here by Barrett. Yeah, Collins definitely needs to straighten up those shots a little bit. He's putting slight tails on them and they're taking slightly longer to reach the intended target. Right hand target. followed by a left, but as well, Collins, he just held the body fill there as they disengaged. And that's what the Scott is looking closely here at. Jackie Collins gets caught with the right hand again. Needs to be careful. Up we get, gentlemen. I think the bell is going to come at the right time here for James Collins. Stiff strike to finish, really popped the head back. You can Collins. really see, yeah, the head is, is, is really being pushed back, almost like a Pez dispenser each time <laughs> on James Collins. And, and that's going to stand out for the judges as well. But for me, Phil, we're looking at that one. Barrett, he just seemed to have the, the better fundamentals. The striker, this cleaner strike, straighter shots, while Collins was trying to wing his shots. And that was allowing Barrett just to come straight down in straight lines and take the more direct route. We've just seen some replays of the cleaner strikes landed but it's not entirely dissimilar to elements from the previous fight it's the cleaner technique is landing the greater frequency of strikes because they have less distance to travel by the time james collins has thrown the hook he's already received the jab he's already received the straight and he's out of the way and the problem with them hooks as well all your momentum is going to add to the power of the shot that your opponent's striking and that's why Collins' head seems to be really bouncing back Round because two. it's the momentum of his strike multiplied by the counter. Nice Barrett job, work again, again mixing from Barrett. Mixing it up nicely, working to the body as well, Phil. Good team from Collins. Collins looks like he's wanting to mix up the, the kick in a little bit more. Another kick teep combination. Oh, caught there with a the hook. Nice right hand, just as Collins has cleaned up, is striking it a little. Barrett lands a big right hand. Nice teep work again, Phil. He's almost leaping forward with the hooks, which is leaving himself open to a counter. Knee in the clinch and exit. Nice stiff jab that time by Collins, and he's... Trying to up his work rate here, but it just seems every time Barrett lands, it's with significance. He really seems to hurt his opponent, be it a leg kick like that, or the straight shots down the pipe. I like the finish on that combination from Barrett. Landed the one, two, then went downstairs. Them leg kicks are really starting to add up as well now. There's another one. Collins is starting to feel them. That lead leg will start to feel heavy. And that's going to take the pop out the step. He's going to have to start checking these. 
Looking fatigued now as well as James Collins just getting back up to his feet slowly. 30 still, seconds remain. Still a lot of time left. Beautiful popping jab. May look the unload looking now. closely. He says Bard in the neutral corner. Collins going to struggle, I think, to make the count here. He looks exhausted. He is back up. 10 Mike. second clapper might save him, really. Yeah. Walter Scott looking closely. Barrett looking to wade in, maybe land another shot. Good shots. The bell may save. Wow. The kick it was just after the bell. So Walter Scott telling James Collins to get back up. Collins looks on very weary legs. Had seemed to throw the leg kick just as the bell went, but the once a kick slid out of the bag, it's very hard to pull back. I think the kicks was the lead to it as well. You can see he wasn't checking the kicks. We're going to look at some action here in the second round. And Collins certainly started better, but he was susceptible to that right hand as well. And it's you can see Barrett almost steps into the right hand as well. Good counter there by Collins, but the bigger shot again was landed. And this was more for, he fell more out of exhaustion. But look at that for a piston straight. Sets it up beautifully with a searching jab. And just pops it right through the guard. Interesting to see how heavy that lead leg is. If I was Barrett's corner, I would have just said for the entirety of that break, leg kicks. Just chew leg up kicks. that lead leg, yeah. Third and final round. And we're underway, and Barrett opens up to the body. That leg does look heavy. Collins, to his credit, is trying to throw back. He's almost turning away when he throws the jab. That leg kick fairly really buried it in that time. Good solid seat. Well, I like what Barrett's doing. He's not just throwing leg kicks. He's, he's keeping him guessing. To the body. Keeping he's him guessing. Up high yeah. and then he's finishing with the leg kick. So he's not going hunting. Beautiful straight again. Big that right could be it. Scott, giving a standing count. Gets it in the neutral corner. But Collins, he's starting to get picked apart here. Walter Scott, one of the best in the business. He won't let this go if he thinks Barrett is done. Fight's over. Just as I said, an excellent stoppage by Walter Scott. Barrett, he, James Collins, he wasn't going to have to continue, Phil. He, he, realistically there, that's a great stoppage yeah. because he wasn't going to win the fight, so why keep him in there? We're, we're looking at Collins now, and he hung in for literally as long as he could. Yeah. No shame, no disgrace at all. He, he fought in, dug his heels in, and fought as best he could, and replied when he could. But the technique from Barrett was so clean. First round was all about fun fundamentals. He done that, and then he started utilizing the leg kicks. You could see the damage, and that damage was setting up that right hand even more. So beautiful shot selection in the third round by Robert Barrett. We're going to make it official. We're going to send it up to our MC, Mr. Terry Kavna, with your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Walter Scott Hunt's called to stop to the action at 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring your winner by TKO, Robert Bell!